What is going on, you guys? This is Andrew Roboto, 2021 here, and welcome to the Night Shift on Baldi's Cruise, where this is the sequel to the Night Shift at Baldi Schoolhouse, and this game, of course, is made by LEGO 101 Games, and this was a game released back in 2022, but I never got around to playing it. Same with the first game, the Night Shift at Baldi School, which was released back in 2021. And then Baldi's Basics was made by Mistman, of course, and it was released a couple years ago. But yeah. And anyways, without further ado, we will start a new game and let's see what has to offer for us. 16 years ago, 2002. You've just exited the old here school of Baldi and friends after Baldi killed Eric Thing, which killed Baldi and his friends in 1999 and performed a ritual to bring him and his friends back to life, which you took part of. After you left the here school, after saying goodbye to Baldi and friends, with all seven of the notebooks in your car, you went to the building where the Paranormal Investigation Association team work f you work for, for making it, or, sorry, I messed up there, uh, where the Paranormal Investigation team work with all seven notebooks in hand they then congratulated you for making it through and they gave you a paycheck for your good old good work with not only your night guard job and collecting seven notebooks thing at the old here school but also with your investigation about the murders at the old here school as well and because you signed up to be a teacher at the new tier school one day prior to the seventh shift you left the the PAT paranormal investigation association team a few days later but not before they said farewell and you promised everyone there that you would return to work for them someday as you left. The final words that your phone guide said on your final notebook mission echoed in your head. Hmm. Here we are, night one. Or shift one as it's called. Alright, let's see what it has to offer for us. Cameras 16 to 30 don't work for some reason during the night. We'll fix this issue once the maiden voyage concludes. Regardless, I hope you do well on your first night from Captain Baldy. So I wonder who we're going to deal with for night one. There's arrow buttons on both sides of the office. If you click the left arrow button, you'll be facing the window. Right, if you click the right arrow button, you'll face the office entrance. There should be look back buttons on both sides if you want to look back to the office when you're facing the left or right side. We have a phone call I hear. Alright, so we got a phone call, so that's good. Click on the look back buttons to do so. Okay. Okay, so this is the window, and that's the door, okay. Okay, let's see the cameras. Maintenance tab, ventilations, cameras. We have four levels of cameras to check. Cameras, wobbles five to six is disabled, obviously. Alright, so we're on a cruise ship, that's pretty cool. Here, school staff. As you can see, this is a mailbox. Nice. Some ghost guys in case of them. Then, when we asked him if he minds if we investigate the ghost hauntings on the ship, he said he didn't mind. So, here we are. Anyway, I presume you're in the office right now. Yes, I am in the office. And checking the cameras and the monitor on your desk, right? I hope for it. Yeah, oh. got everything. Sounds weird.
that's not only one of those will come for you, I'm just saying. And his name is the Tech. The no, Tech. Really, that's okay, really so that's the first yeah, ghost we're dealing with. The mouth that always stays open. How he got unknown to tell them is also unknown. And this is how it deals with him. Right? He will only get you if you either see you moving in the office or if you're looking at them on the window. When he does show up at your office, he will open the door and you will hear the door opening. If you do hear that noise, look at the office, stand still, and do not move until you hear him close the door. If you hear him close the door, that means he will leave you alone for now and you can resume with your night as usual. But don't look at the camera displays at the door on your right, okay? He will do that. But on the camera, there's also a maintenance tab. And from time to time, either the vents or your cams will break. So that means if the vents break and you hear them turning off, go into the camera, click the word, which is the main tab, ventilation to reboot it. And the vents will be back on. And if you see the camera is blacked out and you only see the word camera error, click the word, which again is the main tab, cameras to reboot it, and the cams will be back on. Yeah, this is a lot of stuff to take in, but just remember, you signed up to take the night car position after all. Anyway, that's about it for tonight, so be sure to put the cameras from time to time. Remember to look at the office, stand still, and to not move until the pet looks the door on your right. And you hear Sorry, my computer in. almost fell asleep on me. <laughs> or cameras if they ever break down. And also, be sure to click the day for us to look with that during your shift. And you can share a day with us at breakfast, which, according to the shift schedule, is at 8 a.m. every day. So, anyway, that's it for real this time. So, good luck on your first night, and I'll see you at 8. Good night. Nights are definitely fast, that's a good thing, so it makes it less stressful. But anyways, um, for the thing, which that's him right there, if he comes into the office, we have to just stay completely still, and we'll know when he comes, because he'll open the door. And then he'll close it when he leaves. And I can hear his groaning sound, so for night one, there's really no need to check the cameras, except for to reboot the camera ventilation. Maybe on later nights we'll need to do that, but for right now we don't really need to check it. Except for the, the maintenance the, the maintenance tab, which is to reboot the camera and ventilation. Like I just did. And we don't need to check the window for this night, so that's... Alright, so now we just have to wait for the thing to come in. Or tax, sorry. It's a weird name. thing is here because it says somebody's at the door don't move until they leave okay so you just gotta wait till he leaves Okay, he's leaving, so that's good. Okay, I know what that sound means. It means when you hear like a beeping sound, like a beeping or clicking sound, it means the camera has an error and you gotta reboot it. That's what it means. And I wonder how we'll know when the ventilation has an error. I guess we'll find that out.
Oh, thing is back, so I gotta stay still. Or tack, sorry. I said thing, but it's tack. Tack is back. Assume you just left. I could be wrong. Up. Oh. So when when there's a heart beating sound and the and the screen fades in and out, that means we got to reboot the ventilation. Okay. We're almost through night one, so that's nice. All right, night one completed. So what's next? It's a nice grandfather clock sound. Okay, so we get a cutscene. Okay, you might have known that Eric thing murdered two students and two faculty members in 1999, but you never know knew how he became a murderer. Who's Eric Thing? Let's find out. It all started on a sunny day at Hear School in 1999. Eric Thing stayed after math class to rant at Mr. Baldy about him getting an F- minus on his math test. A few minutes into his rant, Baldy had enough. I've had enough, Eric Thing. Look, I tried everything I can to help you with math, but in your case, you do not do your homework and not study for these tests, and you play video games instead. But if you think you are going to pass this class and graduate without me knowing, you are mistaken. But Mr. Baldy, no buts, Eric. Don't even think about making up excuses to get out of trouble. I'm done. I'm contacting your parents about this. Oh, so Eric Thing is a, was a student at your school who got in trouble regularly for failing his classes. Then Baldy did call Eric's parents. I just got off the phone with your parents and they said that you are grounded until you're great and you improve your grades and there will be no video games for you during that time. This will teach you a lesson not to fail math again. Also, I am going to contact the principal about this. I've had enough, you psycho. What I will do to you will make you regret calling my parents. Face my wrath. Then Eric Thing beats Baldy up and he was sent to the principal's office afterwards, courtesy of Baldy. Then after a meeting with the principal, his fate was decided. He is going to serve detention every day after lunch for the rest of the school year. After he got home from school, his angry parents told him that his video games and Nintendo 64 are now gone, at least until his grades in math and every other subject improves. Then they tell him to go to his room, which he did. Okay, so what's next? Alright, on to night two. Let's see what has to offer for us. And I wonder who we're going to be dealing with that's new for this night. Okay, so we get another note. There's a flashlight in your office now, and along with that, there's batteries in it. So don't waste your flashlight power while using it, please. Regardless, good luck on your second night, Captain Baldy. Okay, so for night two, we have a flashlight. Wonder what we're going to use it for. There's now a flashlight in your office. To use the flashlight, press and hold control to use it. You can only use it when you are facing the window on your left. Keep that in mind. And we get another phone call. Okay. How 
I didn't know Baldy had a cousin. Interesting. And how he was murdered is a bit shocking. He was murdered at Deer School on the same day that Baldy, Principal of the Bing, Playtime, and his bullying were murdered. He was coming over to Deer School for a visit, but when the murder went down, he was the last victim in this school. When Eric Bing killed him, he was murdered by Baldy's right eye. Okay, so Caldy's the one that's on the menu and not Baldy. Okay. I thought that was Baldy at first with a blue shirt, but it's his cousin. Interesting. Okay, so when Caldy comes to the window, we have to flash the light at him. So we got to do. So we got to listen for Caldy, not only Caldy but also Tech. Let's see. So where's Caldy going to be coming from? Okay, so that's Caldy. Okay. Oh, gotta reboot the ventilation. Oh, someone's at the door. Gotta not move.
Oh, Caldy's here. Okay. All right. So just gotta deal with him at the window. When Caldy comes to the window, deal with him with the flashlight, and then tack stay still when he enters the room. Up oh, camera error. There you go. Okay. Yeah, so night two, same with night one. Don't really need to check the cameras. Oh, somebody's there. Oh, Tech is here, so I gotta stay still. Yeah, that Caldy was there, but he's not there. Tack just left, so that's good. Oh, Tack is back. Gotta stay still. Oh my god. I, I thought Caldy wasn't there because I was too busy focused on tech. I gotta pay attention to Caldy better. I really gotta listen for him better because Caldy's gonna be difficult to listen to at times. Okay, what's with the sock puppet? What the heck happened? Is that supposed to be like an Easter egg or something? This is weird. God, I'm trying to skip it. There we go. Oh, it just brings me back to the main menu. Nice. Wasn't expecting that to happen. Okay, night two for real this time. That sock puppet came out of nowhere. Up some of the door. Caldy's there. There he is. Camera. There you go.
Okay, it's either tech or quality that's coming next. I'm listening. Tech is here. Check on Caldy. Nope, not there. Oh, Caldy's here. There he is. Got him. Got to reboot the cameras. There we go. Okay. Tech. Just had to reboot both the camera and ventilation and then check for quality. Haven't heard him yet. Attack, dealt with him, perfect. Is Caldy coming? I'm checking. Caldy's here. Got him. Has tech came yet? No, he hasn't. I'm hearing him groaning. <laughs> oh. Oh, gotta reboot the camera and ventilation. Check on Caldy. Yep, he's not there. Tech is gone, so that's good. You off, thankfully. Caldy, there you go. Got him.
Oh, gotta reboot the camera and ventilation. Actually, it was the ventilation, but I hit them both anyways. Okay, tech just came and went, I just had to check on call the Ventilation, check the window, he's not there, so that's good. Caldy got him. And night two completed. Alright, so will we have a cutscene next? Let's find that out. Alright, next cutscene. The next day, Eric Thing went to school with his pocket knife hidden in his backpack. And he waited until lunch to do this, kill Baldy, and when lunch came, he made his move and walked over to Baldy. Hello, Eric. Are you here to apologize to me? No, I am not. Don't you dare start that attitude again, young man. I don't care. I just don't care. All I care about is my revenge, which is why I brought my pocket knife from home. Really? I don't see it. And you shouldn't bring any sharp objects into school anyway. Now that I see it, what are you going to do to me with it? You see, Mr. Baldy, I am not... I'm afraid you are going to die to my pocket knife, whether you like it or not. No, 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 no. Please don't kill me, Eric. Spare my life, I beg of you. You should have said that before sending me to the office yesterday. This is what you get for sending me to the office and giving me a bad grade on my math test. Prepare to die. And he killed Baldy. Ah! And after that, his murder spree began. He stabbed Baldy in the chest and he bled to death. When the principal noticed that, he grabbed Eric to take him to detention. Then he grabbed his pocket knife and stabbed the principal in the mouth. It's a bully was stabbed in the mouth just like the principal. Playtime's eyes were removed after being stabbed, of course. And for Caldy Moore, he just entered the hair school. And when Eric saw him, he just stabbed him in his right eye. Okay, so Caldy Moore is, is Baldy's cousin. I thought it was Caldy, but it's Caldy Moore. The students were so horrified by all that, this, that one of them called the police. When Eric heard the police sirens, he fled the scene and went on the run. Okay, very brutal cutscene. It's definitely brutal. Okay, after the murders, here school was closed for good. As for Eric, in the years after 1999... He was never caught by the police, but that would change in 2002.
Okay, so we're on to night three next, which we will take that, take on nights three and as and night, nights three and four in the next video, because I don't want to make this video too long, because I'm past the 30 minute mark on my camera. But anyways, thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you have all given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. Be sure to follow me on TikTok. Hit the bell on there to receive notifications as well. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.